Hello, this is DJ Dimaliwat and welcome to my channel. For this video, we will be discussing Pag-ibig MP2 FAQs or the frequently asked questions that probably you have in mind if you're thinking to invest or save your money in Pag-ibig MP2. So I've made some videos comparing uh, Pag-ibig MP2 in our AIA's Income Assure 10 and we've checked, I've asked you uh, which do you think is better? And probably a lot of you are still asking or considering Para sa akin ba yung pag-ibig MP2 na yan? Maganda ba yung returns niyan? So I hope this video will be able to clarify the questions in your mind So let's get on with it Right? Ano ba yung pag-ibig MP2? It is a special voluntary savings facility with a 5-year maturity right? Designed for active pag-ibig fund members who wish to save more and earn higher dividends in addition to their pag-ibig regular savings. So we pay and save in pag-ibig. Um, usually, as an employee, most of the time, you and your employer nag nagbabayad tayo sa pag-ibig, di ba? So yun yung regular savings mo, nag-iipon yun. Beyond that, you can voluntarily save no, sa pag-ibig MP2 and it will give you higher returns. So suggest yun siya. Um, what are the key features of the Pag-ibig MP2 savings program? Here it is. It's easy to save as members can save only a minimum of 500 pesos per remittance. So, pwedeng iba-iba din, minimum of 500. Um, it earns higher dividends than the Pag-ibig regular savings. Uh, the dividends are tax-free and can be withdrawn annually or after the 5-year maturity. And then... MP2 savings are government guaranteed. So, si Pag-ibig is a quasi-government organization. Um, so, ginagaranti ng government yung pinalagay mong pera dito. So, it's really relatively safe. Uh, and then again, may 5 years maturity siya. So, who can save in the MP2 savings? So, it is open to active Pag-ibig fund members. Ano ba dinidefine yung active? Dapat meron kang at least one monthly savings contribution within the last six months. So, if you are a self-employed uh, individual, entrepreneur, never ka ba naging member ng pag-ibig, so kailangan magpa-member ka muna at makahulog ka no, uh, ng latest contribution. If dati ka ng employee and then probably naging OFW ka, hindi ka naghulog recently, kailangan mong maghulog lang ng last month o ng, ng one month contribution no, pa, before ka mag-start. Right? It is also open to former pag-ibig fund members, right? yung mga pensioners, retirees, with other sources of income. Uh, and of course, regardless of the age. No? Pero dapat naka 24 monthly savings ka before ka mag-retire. Right? It, it is also open to natural-born Filipinos who reacquire their Filipino citizenship. No? So, meaning, nag citizenship sa ibang country tapos nagpa dual citizen siya. Dapat at least may 24 months kang savings na before ka mag-migrate. So, yun. So, technically, lahat ng mga members na meron 24 months contribution. Right? So, paano ako mag-open ng MP2 savings account? Right? So, you can open the savings account uh, online via the virtual pag-ibig uh, um, website. So, we will give you the link in the description. And then, once you are in issued, no, so meron ka ng, let's say, meron ka ng MP2 savings account number, then you can start saving. Pwede ng minimum of 500, pwede monthly, pwede one time lang. No? So you may also open in any pag-ibig uh, fund branch no? by accomplishing and submitting the MP2 savings enrollment form. So you may download it in pag-ibig's website. We will be also giving you the link for that. Meron bang minimum amount that I should save in MP2 savings? Yes, ang minimum niya is 500 pesos. So, napakaliit lang. ba? And again, pwede hindi laging 500. Pwede higher. Pwede this month, 1,000. Next month, 500. Pwede 100,000. Isang buo. Pag may bonus ka, whatever. So, it's very flexible. Can I remit one-time lump sum amount? Pwede ba yun? Tapos, 5 years ko siyang papatulugin? Pero pwede. Right? So, pwede po yun. No? Yun po yung uh, sagot doon. Yes, you can do that. Um, so, so, tapos 5 years mo na siyang stay mo doon. Right? Is there a limit to the amount that I can save in MP2 savings? No, there is no limit. 
you can save as much as you want under MP2. However, you should uh, should you make a one-time savings that exceeds 500,000, you should be required to make such remittance via personal or manager's check. Hindi na sila na tumatanggap ng cash. Right? So, para may paper trail po yan kasi covered dyan ng AMLA. Right? The Anti-Money Laundering Act. So, pag beyond 500,000, it's a covered transaction already. That's what we call it. Right? Also, members with MP2 savings above 500,000 shall be required to submit proof of income or source of funds based on the checklist found in the MP2 Savings Enrollment Form. You, know, you, will, you can download it via the link in the description that we provided you. So how do I save? Paano na ngayon ako maghuhulog sa MP2 ko? So there's this a list of ways. Right? Number one, it can be salary deduction facilitated by your company para lalo siya maging monthly na siya mas maganda. You can also remit via online. Right? Online remittance. Um, here's the link. We'll be giving you the link. Uh, you can go to pagibigfundservices.com slash virtual pagibig and then you can use Paymaya, you can use Gcash or any debit or credit card powered by Visa, MasterCard or JCB. Um, also, pwede rin mga authorized online payment channels. Meron nga sa Gcash, Mali, Gment, and so coins.ph, um, Paymaya. You can also do over-the-counter. Pwede kang pumunta to any pag-ibig fund branch. Uh, and then authorized collecting partners. Right? So, yung mga different banks. Um, pwede yung AUB, Robinsons Bank, UCPB, SM Business Centers, pwede rin, Bayan Center, um, Mlulier, and EasyPay. And also, there are co uh, collecting uh, partners then, right? Nationwide, like PNB, AUB, Iremit, uh, Ventaha, and then Cash Pinas. So, marami po na siyang accredited na payment partners. Can I open more than one MP2 savings account? Pwede bang mas marami? Yes, you may open and maintain multiple savings account. May different lang yan na account number. Para rin sa banko, you can have different um, bank accounts. So, pwede po siya. How much dividends will my MP2 savings earn? So, yung dividends, hindi... Guaranteed yung rate, right? So, depende, right? It earns, so your MP2 savings earn annual dividends at a rate higher than the dividend rate of the regular savings plan, no? So, paano ba yun? Pag-ibig sets aside at least 70% of its annual net income and credits it proportionately to its members, right? Sa pag-ibig savings and then sa, yun nga, as dividends. This means that the more you save, the more the higher dividends you shall earn. So I'll show you a table of the past performance from 2011 to 2021. So from 2020, 2011, uh, nag-stimula tayo sa 4.63, tapos tumataas siya, naging 4.67, right? Nag-range siya ng 4 to 5% hanggang 2015. And then tumaas siya, nag-jump siya ng 2016 ng 7.43%. And then 8.11% in 2017. Although from 2017 to 2022, medyo bumaba ulit siya. Nag-start siya no? So, naging up to 6% na siya ng 2021. We still don't know yet as of the recording of this video what is the, the dividend rate for 2022. But at least, no, it averages about 5 to 6% probably depending sa performance ng pag-ibig. Alam naman natin, mainly pinapautang nila yung pera sa housing loans and mga home improvement loans, calamity loans and all. Right? So, can I view my MP2 savings records online? Yes, you can. Right? So, you can view it via Virtual Pag-ibig. Again, the link is in the description. Simply create your Virtual Pag-ibig account, right, for you to view your MP2 savings, including the annual dividends that you have. Magkita mo na rin yun doon, mamomonitor mo siya. Right? Where does Pag-ibig invest my money? So, saan ba talaga nilalagay ng Pag-ibig yung pera? So, Pag-ibig Fund invests at least 70% of its investable funds in housing finance. Pinapautang po yan sa mga gustong magbumili ng bahay. No, it's required by its charter. Right? It also invests in government securities and corporate bonds. Minsan, pag nagbigay ng magandang rate, yung mga corporates, yung mga bonds, and, and even our government, naglalagay sila ng pera doon tapos may magandang rate sila. Right? So, that's why it's quasi-government eh. Hindi talaga siya fully government institution pero tinake over din siya ng government. Yun ang history niyan. 
That's why nakakapagpautang siya sa gobyerno and then sa sa private sector. Where can I receive my MP2 savings dividends? So you have choices. Through annual payout with your MP2 savings dividends credited to your savings or checking account, no, which is enrolled in any of pag-ibig funds at accredited banks. So yung accredited bank, dapat i-enroll mo rin doon yung account mo. No, na kung gusto mo doon, ipasok yung payout. Uh, for members who opt for an annual dividend payout but no Philippine bank account, such as the, in the case of the overseas members, their MP2 savings uh, shall be released via check. So, pwede yung sinchang check eh. Pero I would suggest banko na lang, di ba? Para hindi na-hassle sa'yo. Right? Can I change my dividend payout mode before the maturity of my MP2 savings? No. The dividend payout mode you, you choose upon your MP2 savings application is fixed and shall be your payout mode during the 5-year savings period. So, you may, however, open another MP2 savings account where you can choose your preferred different payout mode. So, pag nag-apply ka, meron yung parang bank account, no? Or yun nga, yung MP2 account number. Um, kung ano yung pinili mo doon, kung check yan or deposit to your bank, yun na yun for the 5 years. Kung one time ka lang maghulog, after 5 years makukuha mo siya. Kung maghulog ka multiple, basta meron siyang parang maturity date. Right? So, kung ano lang yung pinili mong payout option, check or through bank a deposit, yun po yung susundin. Again, kung gusto mo magpalit, you can just open another one. Diba? Pwede yung isa, check it, and nahassle ka na, di mag-open ka na ng bank account mo. Diba? Are my MP2 savings guaranteed? Yes po. Your MP2 savings are government guaranteed. Its annual dividends, on the other hand, dep depends on the pag-ibig funds financial performance. So, meaning hindi guaranteed yung dividends. Yung pera mo guaranteed, hindi magagalaw yun. Yung kita, hindi natin sure. Can be zero, can be higher. So, depende. How can I claim my pag-ibig MP2 savings? Right? You may now claim your MP2 savings after its 5-year maturity online. Then again, go to virtual pag-ibig. Now, just visit the link that we'll be giving you in the description. Right? You will also opt to claim your MP2 savings over the counter. Right? So, merong application form. Again, we'll provide that application form to you and then submit it to your nearest pag-ibig branch. Pero please lang po, gawin na po natin online. Tama ba? No? So, let's do it virtually na lang. No? Para mas madali na po. Magtiwala tayo, pag-ibig naman po yan. And again, it's a quasi-government organization. What dividend rate will my FMP2 have for its fifth and final year when it matures before the dividend rate of that year is that means kasi hindi agad ni release no on December 31 yung dividend rate so your dividend rate for the MP2 savings on its fifth and final year shall be dividend rate shall be the dividend rate from the previous year or the latest available declared dividend rate pag merong latest din yun susundin this shall allow you to earn dividends of your MP2 savings on your entire 5 year period um, what will happen to my MP2 savings if it is not claimed after it matures um, so, those who are unclean, uh, it will stop earning dividends under the MP2 savings rate. No? Kung yan, hindi mo nakuha, kasi check yung gusto mo, stop na siya. It will, however, keep earning dividends based on the dividend rate of the pag-ibig regular savings for the next two years. After pa rin ng two years, hindi mo pa rin kinuha, it will stop earning dividends. Right? Uh, ito yung isang magandang question. Can I withdraw my MP2 savings before its 5-year maturity? Let's say, ipipreterminate ko. Yes, pe pwede. You may preterminate and withdraw your MP2 savings prior to its 5-year maturity. Ito yung mga papwedeng reasons. Pag active, pag-ibig member ka, if in case of total disability or insanity, termination from employment due to health reasons, retirement, permanent migration to another country, unemployment due to layoff or company closure, uh, OFW repatriation from the host country, pinauwi ka. Death of the MP2 account holder with the MP2 savings to be received by the member's beneficiaries. Critical illness of the MP2 account holder or an immediate family member certified by a licensed physician and subject to approval by pag-ibig fund. So, subject to approval pa siya. Other meritorious grounds as may be approved by the pag-ibig fund board of trustees. So, uh, yeah, for approval pa yung iba. For retirees and pensioners, total disability or insanity, death of the MP2 account 
holder, again, sa beneficiary mapupunta. Critical illness of the MP2 account holder or immediate family member. Again, may certification dapat na license position and other grounds. For members with compounded dividend payout of on their MP2 savings, so hindi mo winibidraw yung annual returns, pinocompound mo lang siya, um, ang makukuha mo is principal M the, the principal MP2 savings and then 50% of the total dividends earned from prior years right? and 50% of the dividends for the current year which shall be released after the dividends for the said year have been declared in credit. Ibig sabihin lang, pag nag-preterminate ka, 50% lang nung dapat na kinita ng dividends yung makukuha mo. Right? So yun yung parang penalty dahil nga hindi mo tinapos yung 5 years. Hindi mo makukuha yung buong kinita. Kunyari meron kang example na lang, may 100,000 ka, kumita siya let's say ng 50,000. So it's just, just an example. 50,000 in, in 5 years. Dahil hindi mo natapos, let's say, 3 years pa lang, kumita siya ng 50,000. Kunyari lang, 25,000 na lang yung makukuha na, na dividend. Yung 100,000 makukuha mo pa rin. So, 125,000. Tumubo yung pera mo. Right? For MB, for M, uh, MB2 savings with annual dividends payout, meaning na, nakukuha mo yung annual payouts, hini-withdraw mo siya, hindi mo siya kinocompound. Right? Uh, for principal MB2 savings, with 50% of the total dividends received from prior years to be deducted from proceeds. So meaning, let's say naka-withdraw ka na ng 50,000, just like an example. Babawas yung 50% on 25%, itatanggalin dun sa 100,000 mo. Kasi hindi mo natapos eh. So in short, 75,000 na lang plus yung 50,000 na nakuha mo in total, 125,000 pa rin yun. Equal pa rin dun sa una natin example. Right? So that's that's the how you compute. May pre-termination siya, meaning na half lang yung dapat nakinita, yung dividends. Kasi hindi mo tinapos yung contract na 5 years. Alright? So, can I reapply for a new MP2 savings account once it matures? Yes. Kahit nga hindi pa nagmamature, you can get na. Right? So, you can do that as well. Uh, and also, where can I read more about the MP2 savings program? So, to know more, um, you may download the Pag-ibig Fund Circular number 407 which has the amended guidelines on the modified Pag-ibig 2 or the MP2 membership program, right? So, we will also give you the link for that. So, I hope this video helped you uh, decide whether Pag-ibig MP2 is for you. Um, and again, hopefully, lahat ng questions mo in your mind nasagot na. If you still have other questions, you can leave in the comment section. And if you like videos like this, if you like learning, something about investments, these types of topics, you might be the person we are looking for. So as you all know, or if you may have not know yet, I'm an agency manager in AI Philippines. We're a life insurance company. And I'm passionate about educating Filipinos about finances. Not just about life insurance, but about the different investments. Uh, my vision is our team members would learn different types of investments so that when we teach, we'll be able to also apply it in ourselves and eventually live financially free. No, dapat pinapractice natin what we preach. And I'm on a mission to change how life insurance is being sold and offered. Right? You might be one of those clients na na-ines doon sa mga nabentahan or ikaw nabentahan ka probably ng VUL and you didn't really understand it well because hindi na-explain maigi. Right? Or probably you have invested elsewhere and then you failed as well or you mismanaged your investments. We all have been through that. We've been through a lot of failures as well and, and challenges. And I'm building a team of people who would also like to learn and then teach it to other people. Yes, our product is life insurance, um, but we want to, to learn, to teach you how to sell life insurance the right way. So that your clients will be happy, they will not be, you know, um, it will not be painful from, for them na feeling nila nalugi lang yung pera nila just because they don't understand or it, or it was not explained the right way. So we are looking for you. We are looking for people, the next breed, the new breed of financial advisors. If you are interested, reach out to me, to my Facebook page. Just go to facebook.com slash official or just search DJ Dimaliwat. And if you like this video, if you feel this video has been of benefit to you, don't forget to subscribe 
in this YouTube channel, also hit the like button. It helps this show to more people. Or probably you can also share this with your friends and tell them that this video has answered a lot of your questions about Pag-ibig MP2. So that's it for this video and see you again soon.